Hello and welcome to a small tutorial on MKS modular colonization mod. It is a awesome mod. I really like it. I can recommend it. But so far there haven't been any real tutorials on it, so I thought I'm going to make one. I think I understand it, but maybe I get some things wrong. The mod does change from time to time. They get rid of old stuff, then they implement new stuff. So this is version 0 0.18 and I'm going to give you guys a basic overview of how this works. So as it is stated, it is modular. You have these bases that can deploy legs and you can land on surfaces wherever you like. And also, if you have Kerbal Attachment System installed, you can edit containers. So you can put all kinds of stuff in this. But for that to work, you need the Kerbal Attachment mod. Okay, um, every base needs certain things to work. I'm going to explain to you guys how you can set it up so you have a, when it comes to the needs of the Kerbals, it is a self-sustaining base, okay? So every base needs to start out with a colony control center. And a colony control center is important because if we look over here, you can right click on these and it tells you what it does. So the colony converter, generate command, it takes electric charge and replacement parts and produces punch cards. Now punch cards are necessary that if you have a automated base, the automated parts will consume punch cards to work. So for instance, we have two more modules on the side um, and only one is manned. This, like the, the core is manned, then these two modules here will consume punch cards in order to work. So that's why the, every base should probably start out with a colony command center. Um, next thing we should talk about is the Kerbitat, which is probably the second part you want to add to your base when you get to it. The Kerbitat is a living space, but it also has two abilities. It's called Activate Composter and Activate Habitat. What these do, I will explain later. Just be patient. Um, important about the Kerbitat and other uh, fabrication units is that they come without basic machinery. So right now this will weigh around 4 tons, I think. But if we add the basic machinery part, this will add up to almost 10 tons. The reason why it is not there from the beginning, the basic machinery part, is getting this into space is actually quite hard when it is that heavy, but you need exactly 300 basic machinery parts for this module to work, the Kerbitat. If we look at it, um, you see whoop, you see that fixed uh, required, not consumed, basic machinery 300. So you can't have less than 300, you need exactly 300, otherwise it will say we are, uh, do not have enough basic machinery, this module doesn't work. Now to the Kerbitat it is also to say it requires an inflatable habitation module attached anywhere on the craft. You don't have to connect it directly to the Kerbitat, it's not necessary, but there needs to be at least one of these uh, Kerbitats in order to function. Just so you know that, that is very important. Some people don't know that and get frustrated with the mod and it's not really explained that well in the tutorial that is written for it. So yeah, just so you know. Next important part that will come to your pace is the aeroponics module. The aeroponics module is the same. You need 300 basic machinery for it to work. And it needs the inflatable agricultural um, module to work as well. It doesn't have to be connected directly to it. The same with the Kerbitat, but just so you know. Okay, um, there are a lot of other modules, but the important part is if you click on them, right click on them, you can look up what they need 
and what they give you. So these are the inputs, these are the outputs, and this is what requ is required. So for instance, this fabrication unit would require basic machinery and advanced machinery. But we'll get to more of this in-depth stuff later. Right now, I just wanted to show you guys the major components there are. Keep in mind, uh, the MKS mod is also the OKS mod, the orbital colonization mod. So all of these modules that I've shown you so far also exist as orbital um, vehicles. So this would be the colony co uh, control center for a orbital base or the Kerbitat would look like this and the habitation ring would be of course inflatable and would be huge but uh, the MKS and OKS mod pretty much are the same when it comes to how they work but just so you guys know how this works um, how to connect these modules together you have these expander tubes which um, inflate and get longer and then you can put base parts together. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that in this video. If you wanna see how I did it in my series you can check out my other video. I'm gonna put a link right here and that's the way I came up for a crane to pretty much lift these things and put them together. Now let's get to the more interesting stuff to see how this actually works. Alright, so here is my base on Minmus and I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of how I set it up and then I'm gonna give you an overview of how it actually works. So here we have the colony control center which con uh, produces the punch cards. Over here we have a power distribution unit. This one is producing electricity, which is needed for various parts or when we're in the dark side of the planet and we don't have photovoltaics working. Then of course we have the aeroponics module, which gives us oxygen and other things, but we'll get to that. We have a curbitat then I have additionally for a small base only like uh, this section over here is needed so this could work as just a simple thing but if you want to have this base more self-sustaining I recommend you get the biolab and what the biolab also needs is substrate and water so we have two drills here one of them is extracting substrate, the other one is extracting water. Now over here we have a carbonite extractor which also helps us refuel our uh, crafts if we want to. Okay, this is the overview of my base. I also have a science lab in the middle because I'm gonna do some science on Minmus soon, but this is part of my Kerbal Space Endeavor series. If you wanna check it out, I'm gonna post a link about right there. And um, yeah, but let's get to how all of these modules work and what you need to turn on and what you need to turn off, all right? Okay, so this is a borrowed picture from the tutorial as it is. I'm also going to put a link right here if you want to look it up. But let's get through this as quickly as possible. So we have our astronauts, our carbals, and they require food, oxygen, and water. And they produce, food will turn into waste, oxygen turns into CO2, carbon dioxide, and water is turned into wastewater. Now all of these things need to be recycled again into food, oxygen, and water, so this entire thing is self-sustaining. Now we'll go through this one by one. So waste is going into the curbitat, and the function of the composter will turn the waste into compost, and that will go to the greenhouse. So CO2 is something that goes immediately to the greenhouse and wastewater it goes now into the greenhouse here 
and with the purifier function it will once again be turned into water. Before there was a module called a terraformer which had the purifier abil uh, ability. Right now this has all been put together into the greenhouse, just so you know. Okay, the water we have right here is then just water which can be used by our kerbals. But also water is needed in for, uh, for the greenhouse to work. The next thing, once in the greenhouse the compost is being turned into biomass and out of biomass through the habitat again, the kerbitat, we can create food. So we have a cycle of waste turning into compost, into biomass and into food. CO2 is immediately being replenished and turned into oxygen and wastewater is being purified and turned into water. So the entire right section here you can ignore but if you want to be completely self-sustaining so you never have to bring additional stuff over because this doesn't work a hundred percent you can add these additional things. So I have a mine which mines water and which mines substrate and I have a biolab and a biolab has the ability with the colony converter to produce biomass so we get more food out and of course the mine gives us additional water but the colony converter also gives us more wastewater so yeah it's a balancing fact and this is just the basic thing for a life support overview there's a lot more things where you can later on create basic machinery advanced machinery you need to create chemicals computers and so forth so you can actually produce all of the things that the uh, MKS mod needs on the go or on planets so you can start out with pretty much nothing or a small base with okay you have like small things and then you add more stuff and you actually build it there and you don't have to bring the fully loaded modules over and so forth and so forth really awesome mod I can really recommend it uh, I don't own the mod I didn't make the mod I'm just a fan I'm glad that the modders are still behind it and are still making it and there is a lot more to come. I hope you guys liked it, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope this helped you and let's get rid of more hopes and thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more.